Okay, so here we go. These are Atherin Blue Box, um, what, what are often referred to as early years. They have metal side frames, centered metal wheels, and they have the plastic gear tower. Now, these are called early years because of this motor. It is not to say, if you are familiar with, with old Atherin stuff, the hi-fi drives are called hi-fis. And everything from back then are the hi-fis. Hi-fis had the rubber bands. So that, we call these early years. There are earlier models, but these are called early years. This is an early model SD45. Okay, SD45s did not come with hi-fi. So here is the trick. To get these trucks apart, we go in from the side. Do not stick your screwdriver in the end of this and pry it off or you will break it, especially on these old ones, which probably had a bunch of oils. You know, they're probably filled with oil or um, I am not a fan of LaBelle grease because it works great at first, but over decades, like this one is decades old, it tends to turn to like an amber. So unless you're in doing regular if you do a lot of regular maintenance, LaBelle grease might be good. I'm going to use lithium. Okay, so we go in from the side. One, two, and we're off and we didn't break it. See that? Just like that. You don't need to use a ton of force on it. Don't pull out the hammer. Now, that's key with this. Here is a clip right here. Do not go in the back side or you will break it. Go in from the side above the wheel. Carefully, see that? A little twist comes right off. Okay, now everything comes apart. Okay, there are only three gears in here. If you are not sure how they go back in here, just take a picture. Take a picture, you can refer to it later. All right, so we're going to take these gears out. Everything here is going to be washed. And these wheels are going to be washed with soap and water first. I am going to use some Noxon metal polish and a toothbrush to clean them up. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this wire wheel and clean them again after the metal polish. Here's a tip for you. Like I told you before, here's the other one. See this one with the brass shaft? Don't use this. I will tell you when there's an exception to using this, but otherwise this thing will rip apart any of your metal stuff. And on wheels, especially plated wheels, this will take the plating right off the wheel in one second on low speed. So don't use this. This has special uses and that's not it. We're going to use the silver shaft one and we're going to use the cup. Alright, so that's it. Let's do it one more time here and that will end our part two. So. Got the truck coming down from the top. One, two, off. Didn't break it. Come around on the side above the wheel. One twist. There it is. Off, and we're good. Okay, comes apart. Surprisingly, I am I am very surprised. These gears are totally untouched. No lube at all. This thing is. This is an early model, Atherin, is from 1981 and before. So even if this was 1980, that is a long time ago. Um, and there's not any grease or oil in here anywhere. But the trucks are... This thing has been run a little bit. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and wash this stuff up. I'm going to... I'm going to polish. Okay, here's what I'm going to do to these wheel sets. Soap and water with dish soap, Dawn or Ajax. Noxon metal polish on these. Toothbrush. Then I'm going to come back, hit them with Dremel tool, and then I'll show you how they turned out. Um, and I think you can figure out how to do that. Three steps. Dish soap, metal polish. Oh yeah, after the, after the metal polish, here's a tip for you. When you're done with the metal polish and you don't need a lot on here, 
you wash it off with cold water. Remember that. When you're using metal polish, Brasso, and any other metal polish, when you're done, wash it off using cold water and soap, not hot water. You get what it... Trust me, it's better. Use the cold water. All right, let's go. I'll wash them up and I'll bring them back.